Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another exciting episode of Stellaris. Yay! Where we last left off, humanity took its first brave steps out into the galaxy, discovered a nasty-ass drake, some big old pirate fleets, and an enclave kicking around somewhere out there as well. The Artisan Troop. And are some kind of dinosaur birds. So that's exciting. We've got the... What, the Komarathi Cooperative, who we are not going to be getting along with. And these Myrian Alliance of Planet States, who we will be getting along with, even though they are technologically superior to us. They love us. So that's good. That's a possible potential Federation ally right there. Even though, I mean, we won't be able to help each other for a while. Uh, well, I won't be able to help them. There's a very strong potential that they can jump across, and since they like us so much, what do they want for that? How many energy credits would we need to send you? Not as many as I thought. Yeah, 180 energy credits. Granted, we're not making a lot of energy, but we can fix that. Getting a research agreement with these guys who are ahead of us for 30 years? It's worth, it's worth the one-time deal. Excellent. You guys know a good deal when you see it. We'll go with it. Let's check Terra Nova. We got one location where we've got angry space animals to worry about. Anaxadar. We got one angry space animal. On Sirius, we got one angry space... I don't think it's necessary to get the animal blocker removal just yet. Uh, it might be better to go with the orbital hydroponic farming, although it's kind of a rare situation to have a planet uh, like... <laughs> why is this hard for me to do? Early morning recording, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll go search those systems out. Well, I think aloud. It's rare to have a planet build a starbase, but then need food. I mean, it's I guess it's common enough. But regardless, that's what we're going to go for. What's our constructor ship doing right now? Research stations. Okay, good. That is exactly what we wanted them to do. I mean, obviously, it's exactly what we wanted them to do. That's why we told them to do it. But getting those research stations up is going to be nice for... Uh, the soul system is we'll have a good bonus three three each that's amazing especially since we weren't lucky enough to get any extra science on earth which of course is a little bit of a letdown but such is life will be just fine research complete uh, da, 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 nano composite armor, probably a good thing. Um, well, getting Aurelium Ore opened up would probably be good. And, and Ion Thrusters would absolutely be a good thing. I think we're going to go with Coil Gun. Because a bigger, better gun is always bigger and better. So we should get a bigger, better gun. Although we do, I mean, it's, it's not like we don't need it. We only have the Corvette design. We got, we don't have space torpedoes yet, so we're just rolling with a tiny little gunship, which is fine. We will definitely grab the fusion reactor. Point defense is going to be great, but we've got it locked away so we can get it whenever we want. Fusion reactors mean our ships are going to be better. And end of story. So, the plan. I wouldn't mind today getting earth all cleared up and potentially built up and um, getting a colony on an Axidor rolling because that's going to be the best the bestest thing to do we got a steam level civilization of space penguins rolling around in Arai is that right? Arai so, we can look to, to slapping down an observation station. From steam to space probably won't happen without intervention. 
but we'll be able to snag some nice bonuses from from them and we've already got another one rolling on uh Kolkak here but i think these guys if i remember correctly no no no, that's fine i just want to go to you i just i just want to go to you. that's fine go to Karasta? Is that where you at? Okay, good. I think these guys are... Oh, Bronze Age. Well, I was getting confused with a different play. We got science for days from them, and science for weeks from, from these guys, so that's good. All the science, all the society research is the specific science I'm referencing, in case you're not aware. Uh... <sighs> Why are we playing on speed one? What is this? Some kind of slow speed challenge? Uh, do we have... No, not yet. We'll get them... Thar... Uh, solar panels up soon. I guess we could probably do to clear these two. We're okay on food. Barely. So we'll slap this guy in there and probably build a farm here. What do we got? Scientist gaining experience, always a good thing. A lovely little tropical world ready to go. Mmm, hazelnut coffee, it's a delicious way to start the day. Alright, we got all of those research stations done. Go ahead and research that. Um, do we want to start building on Procyon then? I feel like before, well... I mean, what we could do is just go and build an energy station on Procyon there. And that should hold us over. We'll do that instead. Move you there because reasons. Um, and a power station. Let's get a power plant rolling. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Arai 4A. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, though they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun. Okay, well, that's, that's good. We got some more engineering research up there, which I'm sure our ship designers are just drooling over. But we'll let them drool a little bit longer, shall we? That'll be up momentarily. Well, I guess we gotta clear that first. Then the power station will be up momentarily. Terra Nova is looking fine. Um, right. Food issues. So if we're gonna want to nuke some food, we might as well go for the physics research because it's gonna take the longest to be developed. Uh, in my hierarchy of colony development anyway, science comes last as probably not the best way to do it. It wouldn't surprise me to know that I'm not doing it the best way possible, so, you know, System that's, that's a thing. Let's go and snag some survey information on Pesh. And... Uh, coming up, what is it for colony ship? 350? 250? Oh. Oh. What is it to upgrade this? 350. Okay, yeah, that's why I'm keeping minerals in the bank in my head. It makes sense to do that. Well, that's fine. We can continue. I guess, really, another thing that I could be looking to do is building up the fleet to start taking on these pirate ships. However, and I'm sure there's some kind of bone of contention here. Um, I don't like Corvettes. I don't like build. I don't. I, they're just not my style. I prefer to wait for destroyers before I go on a big fleet building spree, because then you get the destroyers, the cruisers, and the that's battleships. And that's the way I like it. Sure, the Corvettes can have torpedoes, but so can cruisers. So then you just need two cruiser lines instead of Corvettes that just tend to melt whenever they get into serious combat. So that's that's how I do it. We will see that, obviously, in the future. Pesh coming out with some minerals. Good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a farm going there. 
Not much we can do on Terra Nova as it grows. And what is it at? So it is going to be a little while before it's ready for a new capital. We might as well make use of this time and um, get the colony ship for Anaxador done. And is there anything we really need to build? I guess we could slap the research station down. Uh, our power should be able to handle it, especially with the developments going on on Earth. Them growing up and getting older. Uh, naval capacity is a good idea. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get the research station built then. Beautiful. Not that we necessarily need more engineering research, but... Hey, the quicker we get these done, the quicker we'll get to bigger ships. Which means fleet building, so... Yay! What do we got, Doolittle? You done? Alright, next up, we should probably check out that black hole, actually. That would be a good idea. See if we want to slap down a, a frontier outpost way the heck out there. And ourselves some research and stuff before... <clears throat> The, the Cormorathi move into the Jakara patch. Alright. Alright. That's good. So it was... Oh, no, there's a few minerals there, so that's good. Once our borders get big enough, it'll be worth it to slap in some mining stations. All these habitable worlds around us, this is... We're going to be potentially a very, very strong... Central Empire. I'm not even sure how we're gonna split this up sector-wise if and when we have to. That's that's definitely not a problem to be thinking about for now though, is it? That's, that's many moons away. Almost got the pop on Terra Nova done, which will be good. Although it's not gonna give us a, a bonus food. Like, the next person who drops down, we're going to have to slap a farm on them as well. Which kind of sucks, but that's fine. Looks like Captain Kong is now a level 5 System researcher, which is good news. Woo, more engineering! Look at that. Um, Alright, so we got these guys researched. We got that researched. We should Surveyed, I should say. We should probably go for this. And we could potentially get a fleet built relatively quickly to take on what I suspect to be mining drones, but I could be wrong. I don't... I don't recall, sadly. So, yeah, we can snag some mining drones. And then survey this massive ocean world, which should be worthwhile as well. But before all of that, let's go settle on an Anaxador, shall we? So, where would be a good spot? I do think here. So here we'll get a boost to energy, and minerals, and food. Is that going to be the best spot? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Honestly, I like the name Anaxador, so we're just going to go with Anaxador. There, I think that works. Fusion reactors done. Let's get those solar panels up. Losing energy credits, but that's okay because it's just because we're sending more humans off to settle. Hmm. That's somebody new. Oh, no, it isn't. We should still research those guys, though, so the... Those guys, we'll research them. It'll take four months, but that's fine. We are currently researching naval capacity, so... Might as well figure out what aliens are before we build more ships. You're not going to be doing anything stupid like going into a pirate-filled system, are you? Good. Do we have any info on these on the makeup of these ships? Not really. Frigates, pirate cruisers, raiders. I guess it would be the pirate cruisers there that uh, I'm most concerned about. Mainly because <clears throat> mainly because cruisers, those are generally big ships. I want to fight big ships. 
At least not until I've got bigger ships. Three months to the coil gun. And we'll get our Corvettes upgraded. And how's Terra Nova looking? We're coming in on our last uh, pop to grow on there to become a real colony. The space life forms, which the human head of society research has come to refer to as Tianki, are docile creatures capable of accessing some lower dimensions of subspace. They roam from system to system with remarkable ease. Don't bother attacking them. It's not really worth it. But we did get some sort of frequency tuning thing, so... Where would we see that? Oh, zooming out like crazy. No, apparently not. Okay, well that's fine. I thought... That's, that's what I get for closing a window before I'm actually done reading it. Lesson learned. So I guess if we'd gone for the animal clearing tile, we would have been able to get another proper farm on Terra Nova, but we can get that whenever we wind up wanting to. It's not totally necessary to do right now. Let's get these last two mining stations done so we can get some more minerals flowing in. And Anaxador slowly but surely growing to be awesome. How's this planet looking? Uh, 20% to energy credits, and there is Bethyrian on the planet, as well as three, four other... Yeah, yeah, that'll do. We can take that. We'll take that to the bank. The energy bank. Oh. It's, it's the level of my clev cleverness today. System survey complete. Excellent. All right. Let's take you, and, oh, let's come back close to home. Well, okay, if you're going to do that, let's do that, and then that. Because it will be a while before we slap down in Pinel there, but we will slap down in Pinel at some point, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, let's go with the defensive platforms. I have a tendency, I've noticed, to avoid researching that, so we should probably research that. Um, let's get a fusion reactor in place. And then, well, if we put two down, then we can get some shields up. Do we have anything else? Maybe we don't need two then. Then we can just do that. For now, that looks good to me. We'll sort through this. Eventually, we're going to need two fusion reactors on these ships. I mean, they're sitting here ships dead even. Construction complete. No power intake, no excess. So, you know. <laughs> Sorry, chugging coffee. I know, I'm a horrible presenter. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Right, the, the ships. So we're going to have to go back and touch on these guys again, but for now, they will provide quite the uh, quite the force and we'll maybe we'll build them up to 10 I don't like having a lot of Corvettes but 10 should probably at the very least provide a good screen once we've got destroyers in the mix I hope and I also hope <laughs> we're able to freaking build the capital on Terra Nova now that I've built two ships, we should be fine. If we're not, you know, lesson learned. It's been a while since I've said that on the channel, jeez. You'd think I'd have learned my lesson. Oh. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, I don't even know about myself. Okay, Anaxador is done and set up. We got some people going in on the farms right away, which is perfect. We can probably, complete. yeah, we can leave this colony basically on autopilot Research complete. until we're ready to upgrade the city. Like, obviously we're gonna wanna clear things complete. out, but while it's growing right now, we can just let it grow. We don't need to, we don't need to babysit it like Terra Nova. Uh, volcanoes, no volcanoes, one volcano. It's not 
Okay, and it's not the tile blocker I'm looking for. So instead, let's get crew quarters and engineering bay. That would be a good thing to do. Systems very quickly, we are going to... Oh! As, as this planet was surveyed, a small nearby space station used its orbital thrusters in a vain attempt to hide from our science ship. What are they hiding? Let's find out. There's one way to find out. We must. We must find out. We'll hold off on building any stations. There is Pesh. Pesh is almost within grasp. Gonna need another hundred minerals before we can slap down that upgradey thing. So we'll hold off on really doing anything. <laughs> A group of wildcat miners from Earth have already established an unauthorized mining operation in Telisium 4. The miners have been taken into custody. We have seized control of their illegal station. Yay! Now, I mean, obviously these guys, this space station is not within our borders, but soon, soon it will be. And it's, you know, just a free station that we'll have to pay the upkeep on for energy but uh, it'll start giving us mines right away because it's a free station. So I am A-OK -okay with that. Mm. Solar panel networks, excellent. Uh, now, considering our options, yeah, let's just go with uh, point defense and get those done. And now on Earth, We can look at our space. Well, hold on. Let's look at Terra Nova first. We're still a couple months away. Okay. So then we have... Oh, dear. That's a misclick. We have time to slap down the solar panel and start getting some energy production going on there. Because, yeah, we should... Oh, yeah, we got 10 months. We're making 24 minerals a month. We'll be fine, as long as I don't go too crazy on the spending from here on out. <clears throat> These guys, 400. Now, we do have shields, two of them, in fact, which will help against the mining drones, but I'm not really sure that that would be enough. We'd probably want to get up to 10, which was my original assessment mere moments ago. If I would just listen to myself sometimes... System survey complete. Leave them for now. The THRAD system is done. Well, how theoretical is that? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be some bad, bad, horrible jokes in this series, and that is for true. Uh, let's get some more energy. Do we want more energy? Yeah, we don't need more bio Research yet. Complete. So we'll get more energy instead. What you got done for me? Defense platforms. Lovely. Uh, we haven't researched powered exoskeletons yet? I mean, considering we're using mass drivers, I do like Teldar crystals, but how could we not have powered exoskeletons yet? We got our solar plant done. Well, our solar plant, our solar panel network done. Yeah. Um. Soon, TM? Okay, so we can do two more Jaeger class Corvettes. And. We should be good? I don't think we will be. I think we'll be... There'll be slight, slight hunger issues on Terra Nova for a month. Oh, maybe not. No, nope, we're clear. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I don't want my people to starve. I'm not... I'm not a dick System ruler. Alright. Yule trip is done. So let's start taking a look at systems that are within our actual control. And let's upgrade Terra Nova to be a proper planet. 
almost got Pesh in, and so I think then we should probably land on Sirius 3 next. I mean, obviously, that's going to be the next colony we go for. It's the only other continental world uh, open to us, basically. That's fine. <clears throat> and we'll have... Yeah. Yeah, we should have more than enough. Because the only other tiles, once that's done, is food, so Earth can grow as it will. And then once Terra Nova's up, we can take a look at some of these planets that lost out on their research and adjust them accordingly. Although we will still need some crappy farms to be blocking some science, so... It'll be a little while before Terra Nova gets up running as I would like it. Our fleet is still just not quite strong enough to take on those mining drones. I don't want 12 Corvettes. <laughs> I don't think I'll have a choice. I'd really like to get this system cleared out, not the least of which because those mining drones will have some interesting research. Uh, hopefully. <clears throat> Anomaly found. What have we got? Atmospheric readings from Hestimer 1 do not match projections? Well, get on that. Dr. Kong, we need to know what's up with that planet. Dr. Kong should probably go back to Carista 7A and, and find out what's going on with those inconsistent sensor readings. Almost done there. Minerals are coming up slowly. Ah, where's my construction ship? Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Hesimatur for one's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science Officer Kong is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. But we got six society research in there, so eventually we'll find the answers to these questions. Uh, in the meantime, getting some mining stations built up and ram in there would probably be a good idea. <clears throat> what you got for me? An election? All right, well... We'll let the people decide. I would prefer, obviously, Dolores here to be re-elected. Although it doesn't look like any of these people are um, colonial governors or anything, so we're fine complete. there. Uh, finished its surface construction on Terra Nova. Lovely, we've got a real planet. Look at that! And we've only got one bonus food. Um, Shiza. Okay, well, that's fine. What is... Energy and Physics. So, we'd like you to focus on energy, but we also got quite a few minerals on this planet as well. Polina Zhivenkov has been elected as the Grand Admiral. Uh, yeah, inconsistent sensor readings. Go find out what's going on there. Uh, what is Dear Grand Admiral. Orbital research. You want four research stations built. Well, I don't know about that. We'll, we'll see. Do we even have research. four? Oh yeah, we do. We, so we could, we could achieve that for influence. We don't need any influence right now, but we could if we wanted to. Uh, let's go ahead and finally get some ion thrusters and, you know, upgrade our ship's evasion, and things of that nature. The very geological structure of Hesimatur 5 is indeed in flux, driven by what Science Officer Kong assures us is a te tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric. What is of more interest to the Terran Republic is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near-instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable is theoretically possible. You have your 200 energy credits. Kong, do your work. 
The Science Officer Kong reports that Hesma Tier 5 can indeed be terraformed. A narrow window of opportunity is expected to open shortly as the planet enters a particularly unstable phase of its cycle lasting a couple of months. Kong believes that miniaturized explosive charges delivered to the planet's crust and strategic irradiation of the atmosphere during this time will halt Hesma Tier 5's tumultuous changes and stabilize it in a form somewhat more suitable for sustaining life. Situation updated. Let's do it, Kong. Now, I'm not holding, holding my breath that this is going to become a freaking continental world, and indeed it's arid, but it is successful. So, look at that. That'll be good for future terraforming. Let's go to Delta whatever's. Pavonis and see if that system's got anything for us to do. We got our mining station done in Ramen, which is good. Might as well get you going on a power plant, not a science lab. We'll get the science lab later. Um, right, what am I doing here? Now I'm really wishing I got the animal blocker removed. Regardless, we can slap down a uh, power plant. Yeah, I mean, power is going to be the focus of this planet, so let's do that. Career, 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 crew quarters. Uh, jungle, sure, I think we've got some jungle somewhere, certainly on an Axidor. But a couple on Terra Nova, that's fine, and I guess only a couple on an Axidor. Really, it's the mountains on an Axidor that are the big problem. Uh, might as well get a farm going here, because that's all that system's going to do for the next little while. And you should be very close to finishing. Indeed. March. Construction complete. You're not done? Oh, 60.8 for 60.9. Come on. Anomaly found. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor. Oh, research that. Uh, construction ship, build your research station, and then we'll build a research station there, too. Sentinel point defense is done. That is good news. We might as well get Power Hub going because, at the very least, Terra Nova is going to benefit greatly from, become, from getting a Power Hub on it. And, of course, Earth can always get or can always benefit from a power hub as well. We've received artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Delta Parvonis 5A. Incredibly, this civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cybrix, seemed to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age of the artifacts indicate they were active some 600,000 years ago, in this portion of the galaxy at least. We've learned nothing of their exact origins. According to a partial data fragment that our scientists managed to extract from one of the artifacts, the Cybrex at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sentient organic life in the galaxy for unknown reasons. Perhaps we can find out what those reasons were and benefit from them robots and their technology. Hopefully, precursor events still... They're nuanced. I'll, I'll put it diplomatically that way. Ah, uh, what are we gonna do? We'll leave you for now. When in doubt, ignore the problem. Ooh, auto cannons. Those are huge, though. We're gonna get the uh, Teldar crystals instead. Um, and what we can do, though, is go to our ship designer and get working on doing some of this. All right, I think that's all we can basically do at the moment. So we'll save the Jaeger there and upgrade these suckers so they've got a little bit more maneuverability with that faster Six engine. Upgraded. Construction complete. And indeed, we might be strong enough now to take on the mining drones. So let's take Admiral Gardner and head on out there, see what we can find. Colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of the planet. Let's find out what it was. Because that'll be good to know. Maybe it'll be something exciting. It's probably just going to be extra minerals or something, but 
Uh, I, I'm not going to say no to extra minerals. That seems relatively helpful. Uh, we might as well, if we're going on our research station binge, get the last two done and complete the thing for influence that we don't need. A massive crater on Delta Parvonis 4 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect the ship traveling at full warp rammed into the planet for unknown reasons roughly 10,000 years ago. Well, it's not the Cybrix, then. The Doolittle has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site reminiscent of a collapsed warp field. But as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. So just a little bit of extra physics research, that's fine. Let's scope this out, see if my assumptions were correct, and indeed I think they were. So let's see if we can bait the drones out for a fight here. Take care of them and then move in and finish the station. Oh, and indeed, indeed they are spoiling for a fight, aren't ya? Right, we'll make sure that we keep well out of range of their station. Okay, we can engage them now. Now they do have a lot of uh, laser weapons, that is true, but we've got the shields, which, I mean, we've lost one ship already, two ships now, but we do have, we still have the numbers, or the power edge. Mm, we're going to need to take one of them out pretty darn quickly here. Alright, I don't think we've got the power edge anymore. Oh, we do now. It's a very back and forth fight. And our five remaining Corvettes, are they enough? Will they be enough to then turn around and take on the station? Four Corvettes now. This fight is proving to be more expensive than I had hoped. But we might be able to come back with a victory here. I hope. I think we'll be okay. I wouldn't mind sending <laughs> the fleet home for some repairs before taking on the station. But, I mean, it's only 20 defensiveness, so I think we can take it. I hope. This last mining drone is being a real jerkwad, though. Yeah, with our last three ships, we should be strong enough to take on that station. Situation log updated. Unyielding! Complete. Cannot use emergency FDL. That's a concern. But, we should be okay. Let's clear the station and then we can send our science ship up to check those things. Ah, missiles. I wish I had point defense. It doesn't really matter for Corvettes, because they can't mount point defense. And thankfully, they're focusing on the Ascentor, which is, um... Well, still had full shields. The shields are down now. We got our power hub done. We might as well snag ourselves uh, Gravitic Sensors. And we might as well make one of you a power hub. We'll move you there, right? Yeah, we'll move you there so we get the research. Uh, Terra Nova doesn't need it yet, and Anaxador is still growing. So that's fine. How's this fight going? I don't need to search for D. I need to use WASD to move around. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. Obviously, more ships would be getting this done sooner. But, you know, that's fine. I do have to say, though, uh, if I were alive in this timeline, I don't know that I would volunteer for the Terran Republic Navy. It seems pretty darn dangerous. What are they sitting at? Three colonies? We gotta do some more growing here. Because we're gonna have to fight these guys. Now, when it comes to fighting... 
There won't be any purges or things of that nature. Remember, we're fanatic xenophiles. We're here to meet all the alien species and make friends with them one way or the other. The best way to make friends with somebody who is, you know, directly opposed to our government form is to go in, liberate their planets, and change their government. So that's the plan. That's that's how I would like to conduct all of my military campaigns. Look at you guys growing like you're so strong. Almost. They'll almost agree to a non- or a defensive pact. That would be great. A defensive pact with those guys would be huge. Although, again, like if we get a defensive pact with them, these guys declare war on us and they can't get to our arm, it's entirely pointless. I hope they can make it. They are much more advanced than we are, so we can speed this up here. So we should, hopefully, anyway, be able to... Oh, I need to sort out the food situation here. Okay, we will boost you and we'll move you there and slap down another power plant here. Actually, hold on. Cancel that. Cancel that. We'll put you here. And here we'll build a power hub. Perfect. That is better thinking. Things are moving nicely here. We should have our tile blockers cleared soon. That's that. One more research station and everybody will be pleased as punch with us. We can probably start replacing some of our losses from the drone fight. And certainly with those drones being at strength 400, it is going to be a very long while before we take on a fleet of 1500 strength. But we'll get there. We'll get there, damn it. Fleet's fully repaired, which is lovely. And once this constructor ship is done in Anaxador, I think what we will do is go and build a mining station there as well. What did we learn? Mining drone laser, that's about it, huh? Well, I guess we already researched the uh, fusion thingies, so, you know, that makes sense. Fusion thingies, fusion reactors. Come on. We know the word for reactors. And yeah, we can probably kick this up to speed three just to let our mineral reserves recover a little bit and allow us some time to advance. And I was hoping for a a more responsive farm than that, but that's okay. Nuclear missiles, okay, that's not bad. I'll take that. Holy crap, complete. look at that planet! Asteroid belt, exceptional quality minerals. How many minerals do you have? Four? Oh my, yes. Oh, your gorilla three. Marry me. That is lovely, okay. Um, adaptive bureaucracy. Research complete. Construction complete. Gravitic sensors are done, so we might as well snag uh, lithuric gas, because that'll be helpful. And then hopefully, once we're done researching Teldar, we have some Teldar, I hope. Anomaly. And, um, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and, and research that. That seems like a good thing to research. Although once you're done in your gorilla, we will get you to check out the anomaly there. An abandoned amusement park? Good boost of society and engineering, that'll be helpful. Um, oh. Hmm. I think we'll go with spaceport level two. Because that should get us on the way to destroyers. Our constructor ship is sitting around here doing nothing. We should probably have it, at the very least, go build a mining station there to get some energy. You're done there, so that means you can come and research that. I'm excited about your gorilla here. Yo... Yogilla? Yogilla? I don't know. Yo-gorilla. Might have to change the name. 
but I'm excited about that planet. That's going to be a good planet. There are good ocean planets kicking around here like Cray, so we should be sitting pretty pretty for planets, colonies, life places for humans. All right, you can have your 200 energy credits again. That's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, new research. Pause. Just don't... Uh, border range, right? Or habitability. Yeah, border range. That's fine. Uh, science ship. Where are you at? So, we need you to research that project. Special project complete. Another successful tactical terraforming. A barren world now. Oh no, it's become arid. Well, that's fine. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where are we going to go now? I guess here? We'll, we'll scout out that location. Really focusing on the planets to the east of us. Like I say, I think that's going to be our first big military push. Although, complete. like I say, hopefully we just convert these guys over and make them part of our federation. Although as they get bigger, that is going to get more challenging. And indeed, they have more colonies than we do now. That's not a good thing. Uh, well, that's not really necessary to clear. None of those are really necessary to clear. We will, however, get a science lab rolling for the bio there. And now Earth is pretty much just free to grow as it wishes. <clears throat> Research complete. Nice and easy. All right. We'll take you. Uh, we'll just pause this. We will definitely go ahead and get ourselves destroyers. That'll be good. And our Anomaly construction power. ship. Ah, uh, yeah, research that. Research that weak signal. Uh, are you on? Yeah. So, I mean, we could build the thingy, the, the station, but... That station is going to get replaced the moment we land, so it is a bit of a waste. For now, anyway. Well, for now, forever. Once we get a colony there, there won't be any mining stations to build. Once we get a colony there, too, we will get Pesh in, which will be nice for the minerals. Uh, sh ancient survey marker, making Roman relatively worthwhile. Like I say, with, with all of these survey markers and pirate fleets kicking around, we should have pretty rich systems. My god, we're sitting on a thousand minerals. Uh, we'll get a colony ship and an upgraded starport. And with 500 left, we should get a governor. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of building, so Governor Rodriguez there. Can go and once this guy's done I think we'll be ready to upgrade uh, an Exodor to a proper colony as well am I correct in that assumption I am excellent excellent science ship uh, come down here and do some surveying and yeah I guess we could build a mining station there let's do that and of course I could always put a frontier outpost in place out there, but I had a feeling she'd be dead soon. A 29 year old researcher, Governor Forrest, that'll be nice for Earth. I wish that applied to the entire system so we could get some bonus on that too. Maybe it does. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I don't think it does. But hey, if it does, even better. Research complete. Anomaly found. Whoa! A small and otherwise insignificant moon orbiting this research gas giant complete. appears to be on a trajectory. Well, we should research that. New research on the border zone thingies, and we will go with uh, planetary capital. And. Who do we want? Oh, I think we're going to want disruptors here. It'll be a nice little boost to the old destroyers once we get them rolling. Construction complete. Thank you very much. 
One of the many moons circling Tribicore 2 has a terminal orbit. Situation log updated. One, uh, no, let's, let's do this now. Research that now. You can finish off the scan of the system once we figure out what's going on there. Five, you can get upgraded. Let's do that. And let's clear that. We do have enough energy here that getting a, uh, a uh, power hub in place would not be a bad idea. Uh, let's boost you. I really don't like the farming situation on Terra Nova, but what can we do? Oh, we got hope! Ready and waiting. So where are we going to plop down our colony? Uh, here, I guess? No. Oh, that's over boosting on food. We put it here, minerals and power, but no other boost to food. That still might be the best location. Yeah, let's let's do that. Well, let's oh, before we go with Sirius. I mean, I guess really, I wouldn't mind getting your gorilla done. There would be a very good spot for a ca for a colony capital. All right. The habitability does kind of suck. Hmm. All right, no, you know what? We should get the continental world done first, and then we'll worry about all the ocean worlds after that. So if we slap you, well, here... So here we'd be able to boost all three. And that would be best. Uh, we will call you... San Cristobal. Sounds like a good space colony planet name. We got that done. Special project. Complete. We were successful in our attempt to record the collision between Tripicor 2 and its moon. The event was captured from several different angles, transmitted live throughout our space. That's pretty cool. I would I would very much look forward to the days of broadcasting moon collisions live over whatever the equivalent of, you know, media sharing Construction is in place for such a large galactic empire. Construction complete. There we go, Terra Nova's done its construction, so we got the farms kicking up. So we might as well do that before we can clear that. Tribicor is done, so we can go and survey that system. And human space is getting bigger and better as time goes on. It's great stuff. <laughs> Our fleet is sorely underpowered, um, so we might as well build up some of them. Eight. There we go. We'll get ten Corvettes on the go for the future. Thank you. <clears throat> Research complete. All right. We got our destroyers done, so we'll snag some new research there, and I'm thinking. The missiles would be a good idea. We've detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Viral Kaned in the Velith system. They have entered the early Steam Age, another set of Steam Age peoples. Well, that's good news. We can build an observation post there. I think the other one was up here, right? So then we'll just queue up those two things. And our society research is already off the hook. So that is good news. How's how's this system doing? This planet. We got freaking food for days. You can come down here and we will start on your energy production. So power plant. Power plant. Complete. Power hub. Beautiful. Terra Nova, you've got your hub, so Anaxador will be in place. Our energy uh, economy should start to do incredibly well now. So what we'll do System once... Whoa! Yeah, we should check out those unnatural sur or structures. Uh, once you're done those two, we will get those mining stations built in Pesh. And that should be good. 
That is a huge level anomaly. Hopefully we get something good out of it. Like a battleship. Just a free top tier battleship. That would be absolutely lovely. Nope, more lattice work. So we got some... Oh, this is a different one. Villith 4 is crisscrossed by overlapping mineral composite bands that are elevated above the harsh surface by tall, flexible pylons. Clearly of alien origin and constantly agitated by the atmospheric winds, the pylons sway and the overlapping bands rub together to produce sonic waves at, to humans, inaudible frequencies. Science Officer Kong reports some trouble isolating this audio from the natural background noises of the planet, but also notes that the mineral bands could should we so choose, be broken down and effectively recycled by the Republic. Well, that's good news. We need you to continue your surveying, though, and you might as well go to uh, Shmashamar. Shashamar. Shmashamar. That could be. I don't, I don't know for sure that I mispronounced that, but there's no M for the smash, so... I have a feeling I was incorrect in that pronunciation. Very close to getting San Cristobal colonized. And it is indeed colonized. Huzzah! So, I think once we assign a governor to San Cristobal, and we will go with, oh, why not just go with the cheapy one, Angeline Remy, uh, that this is going to be a good spot to leave the episode today. Let's give it a save on Let's Play. Yeah, we can override it. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed today's episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.